This is the Collaborative Stage Data Collection System, CS Moments. The topic for today is distinguishing between tumor size extension of VAL code 1 and 3 for operative findings. So our question is, is information on an operative report tumor size extension of VAL code 1 or 3? In the scenario that we have here, the patient was taken to surgery for diverticular disease. A CT of the abdomen preoperatively was negative. The findings at the time of the operation showed that there was a fairly bulky mass noted in the sigmoid colon with it being very redundant back onto itself. There was also thickening and an abnormal appearing right ovary. There was some peritoneal seeding noted and this mass that seemed to extend extra colonic and drew up the retroperitoneum into the mass. On the pathology report, it was shown to be a signet ring cell adenocarcinoma, high grade. It invaded through the muscularis propria into the subserosal fat with the proximal and distal margins uninvolved but the radial margins involved. The ovary was negative for tumor. The pathologist noted on his path staging PT3, PN2A, 5 of 21 nodes involved, and the distant mets were not applicable since the pathologist was not given any metastatic tissue to examine. Now let's look at a summary of the operative findings versus the pathology report. The operative findings show that the tumor has extended outside the colon into the retroperitoneum. This would mean the CS extension code would be 675, which maps to a T4B. Now the path report states that the subserosal fat was invaded and that the radial margin was positive. This would be a CS extension code of 400, which maps to a T3. T3 was also stated by the pathologist. So which one would take precedence? Let's look at the eval code choices for the operative findings. Eval code 1 is based on the clinical classification. It says that there was no surgical resection done and it includes endoscopic exam, diagnostic biopsy, and other invasive techniques including surgical observation without biopsy. Now, eval code 3 is based on the pathologic classification. There was a surgical resection in this case scenario that has been described. There was not any pre-surgical treatment given. The code choice also states that the evaluation is based on evidence acquired before treatment and it is supplemented or modified by evidence acquired during and from surgery. So the question is, should we use eval code 1 since the information is from the operative findings, the observation, or should we use a VAL code 3 since there was a resection and it says to use evidence required during a surgery? Now the answer to this scenario is 3. This is because there was evidence during the surgery to prove the information and the highest stage. During the surgery refers to the surgeon's operative findings. So code 3 states that the evaluation is based on evidence acquired before treatment, supplemented or modified by the additional evidence acquired during and from the surgery, particularly from the pathologic exam of the resected specimen. But there was nothing in the pathology report that overrode the information from the operative report, since the pathologist did not receive any tissue from the retroperitoneum. Now, just as a reminder, if there would have not been a surgical resection, then the evaluation code for the operative findings would be 1, the clinical classification, since that is used for operative findings when you don't have a biopsy or surgical resection. The references for this can be found in the CS version 0204 coding instructions, Part 1, Section 1, page 41. Number 7 specifically explains eval code 1. 
and number 8 specifically explains the use of eval code 3. Please submit questions to the CS forum. This is located within the cancer forum and it provides information from everyone. The questions and answers can be used and seen by all. It also allows for tracking for educational purposes and helps us determine which questions should be made into videos such as this one. The URL on the screen is for the Cancer Forum. Please check out the AJCC YouTube channel. These are short 5-15 to 15 minute videos on both AJCC and CS topics. We try to cover concepts that are important to everyone. These videos are also posted on the CS webpage in case you cannot access the YouTube channel. The URL listed on the screen is for the AJCC YouTube channel. This has been sponsored by the CSV2 Education and Training Team and AJCC, the Administrative Sponsor for Collaborative Stage. Thank you.